I'd like to turn it over to Aaron and the Carswick Group. Great, thank you very much. Uh, very pleased to be here with you all this morning. Thank you for jumping on and joining us. Uh, I hope that you can see my screen. I've shared it in my PowerPoint presentation. Uh, as mentioned, this morning we're going to be talking about the compression cells, wireless compression cells, and the center of gravity software. So let's get right to it. Why is the center of gravity software, or why is knowing the center of gravity important? You've got to know a load before you lift it. Us in the rigging industry probably think this is a redundant question, and you're probably right, but there are many lifts made where either the weight of the object is unknown or the center of gravity is unknown. And what happens, the load shifts, it's uh, unstable, the rigging tends to correct, so the center of gravity swings over underneath the hook, so it's directly underneath the hook, right? So in the industry, it's important for us to understand and know where the center of gravity is so that we can make our rigging correct, make our lift points correct, select the correct rigging, select the correct size of rope or the correct crane or whatever it is that you'll be moving an object with. Because if you don't know the load, how can you lift it safely? So this is the Crosby wireless load safe compression cell. It's used to weigh a variety of objects, large modules, objects, heavy equipment. People need to know how much they weigh. They need to know the center of gravity. If they're moving from uh, one area to where it's going to be picked up by another crane, the center of gravity needs to be known so that the correct rigging is selected for that area, right? So wireless, it has a thousand meter range or roughly 3,200 foot range off of radio frequency. It is offered in a Bluetooth, but we're not talking about the Bluetooth model at this time. We're talking about the long distance radio frequency range. It runs off of four AA batteries. These would be industrial strength AA batteries. Off of those four AA's, the customer is going to see 1,200 hours continuous use on those batteries. So that's about 50 days on, plus or minus 24 hours a day. Typically, a customer is not using them 24 hours a day, but the long battery life lets customers use them throughout the day, throughout the month, eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, change the batteries about once a month and you'll be great. So let's look at some application photos of how the compression cells are used. So in this photo, you'll see a large module skid that's going out to a customer's. Now, the, the manufacturer wants to know the weight of the object and they want to know the center of gravity so that they can take that information and send it to their customer where it's going to be arriving. And you can see our compression cells set there, they're staged to go underneath the skid once it's lifted in the warehouse. Here's a couple more photos. These are large pipe modules and objects to be weighed. On the left side, you'll see two compression cells used under one point. This is an acceptable practice. What they're doing, those look to be about 100 ton compression cells each. So they probably expected 150, 160 metric tons of force in that one point. So they put two 100 ton compression cells under that point, thus giving them 200 tons of capacity underneath that point. Very acceptable in the industry. And in our software, in the Insight software, which we'll be speaking about in a few minutes, the customer just needs to put the X and Y coordinates of both of those compression cells where they are in the system will account for them being right next to each other. And you will see on the right side, this is a nine leg pipe module. These pipe modules are manufactured off site. Then they're put on a barge shipped to where the Pipe modules are then connected to each other and a, um, a plant is built or a processing manufacturing facility is built. Um, but all of the pipe modules, non-leg pipe modules are physically the same size, but they have different weight, they have different center of gravity. So it's important for them to know where that is so that when they are moving 
that pipe module from the shore onto the barge, they know how to ballast the barge correctly so that they get the, um, they had a safe voyage, right? So the next picture we'll see here is a pipe module being loaded um, onto a barge. You can't see the barge, but you can see the ramps at the bottom of the page. And they know the center of gravity that they can ballast the barge correctly before they put that pipe module on there. Now, lots of things are weighed with our compression cells, offshore modules, absorbers, generators, boilers. The list is extensive. Basically anything that has weight to it that they need to know the center of gravity that's heavy, we can accomplish that. So let's talk about how the InSight software works in connection with our wireless compression cells. So let's say that we have a rectangular piece of equipment that we need to weigh, and we're going to use four compression cells to weigh this object. One, two, three, four. Now it's important for us to know the X and Y coordinates, right? Or the lengths of each, each dimension. So we're gonna say that X is 180 inches, and we're gonna say that Y is 120 inches. Now, the software is a uh, very cool feature about the software is you do not need to put in a certain nomenclature for what dimension you're using. You can use feet, you can use inches, you can use centimeters. Um, but what I will say is whatever dimension you put in, that is what it will give you in the report, which we'll talk about shortly. So if you use feet, you're going to be regulated to plus or minus a foot. If you use a meter, you're going to be regulated to plus or minus a meter. So most people will use inches because that is about the most accurate they want to get without going to centimeters. So again, back to our presentation, 180 inches by 120 inches. So we need to tell the software the serial number of where that load cell is located. That's how the software knows which load cell is where. And we also have to tell it where it's located underneath that piece of equipment. Now, we're going to start at the bottom left at our starting point, zero, zero. And we're going to tell the software each place from that starting point where each load cell is. So our first one would be 180 inches on the X axis and zero on the Y axis. So we will repeat that for load cell three, and we'll repeat that to load cell four. I'll give a couple seconds if you wanna take a guess at what it's gonna be. If you guessed at zero, 120, you're absolutely correct. 10 points for the day. And so now that we have this information into our center of gravity software, Insight, now we can take that information and we can look at our software. So, in our software, what you'll see on the screen here is just a live shot of one of our center of gravity weighings. The blue dots that are around the screen, once some are larger, some are smaller, what that's indicating is, is where most of the weight is. So the top left blue dot has most of the weight. Underneath that, there's a little bit less weight on that. On the far right, you'll see there's a little less weight on there. And then towards where the heaviest point is, you'll see our little crosshairs. That's where the center of gravity is. So you see a live, or the customer will see a live view of where the center of gravity is. So it's very easy for the customer to see right away when those compression cells are being loaded where the center of gravity is. Now, some people will hire companies to come out and do center of gravity weighings for them. And we help those customers do it efficiently with the software this software will generate a center of gravity report. It follows the ISO 19901 spec that says you have to take three weighings as a minimum and take the average from those three weighings. So it will generate this report for them. They can then turn that report over to their customer. Everybody's happy and on we go. Now, the great thing about the center of gravity software paired with the wireless compression cells is the selling opportunity that it presents because customers are going to purchase four or eight 
or 12 or 20 at a time to weigh a module that they have so many points. Let's say they have 10 leg pipe modules, they'll need 10 compression cells and the software. So the opportunity to move the sales needle with this product is great. So let's talk about spotting the opportunity. Typical customers that purchase this type of system or are already using a system like this are heavy haulers, heavy transport, heavy lift customers, those with self-propelled modular transport trailers or SPMTs, as you see here in the picture, uh, Goldhofer trailers, modular trailers, dual lane trailers, all these customers that have these trailers in their fleet, they can and are sometimes using them to get center of gravity weighings or doing total weight confirmations for customers. And they have to have compression cells underneath each point of that. So let's talk a little bit about those customers who already have, let's say some center of gravity software. However, is it wireless? There are a lot of cabled systems out there and a lot of times customers are going and they're taking a four to 20 millivolt or milliamp reading off of them. They're going back to their office after they've conducted all these weighings, typing in it into an Excel sheet and trying to formulate these things on their own. It's very time consuming. So they've got to put out these load cells. Then they have to run all of these cables to the load cell and back, right? And we all know cabled, things, they get dirt in the connection. Sometimes they get crimped. You get on the job site and the connection's not making a good connection. All of these things, they've got to run all of those cables back to a junction box. And then those cables come to their indicator. Now, this is a sophisticated cable system because it's taken into account all of those. But like I mentioned, a lot of times they're just taking the individual reading from each load cell, then they're taking it back to their office after they've done the weighings, spending hours on a computer, calculating, doing the formulations, and our software will do it for them. It will generate the receipt or report, excuse me, for them. So they take the load cells out, they put the wireless load cells underneath them, where the points are, type in the information in Insight software, they're ready to go they can create a report and give that report to their customer right then. There's nothing to take back to the office and, and do. It's all ready for them. So it saves them time, saves them energy, saves them money, which most people will like that. So in conclusion, this is a new wireless system. It is the best on the market. It is the most capable system on the market. By the way, the Insight software can read up to 126 load cells at one time. So if a customer has a job where there's 30 compression cells, that is not a problem at all. Heavy lift customers active and with major products, projects, they're using these. They have products or items they need to weigh. They're getting jobs. We can approach them. We have strong commercial arguments, how it can save them time, save them money, save them office work. And these are available from the stock from Crosby. So that is the end of my presentation. I believe we're going to be right at 15 minutes for my presentation. So if you have any questions, I'll be happy to field those now. If I can get back to the screen where I can see the chat. All right, looks we got, uh, what is the max capacity in stock is the first question that we've got here. Uh, that's a great question. You know, our stock is very fluid. Um, I do know we have some 150 ton compression cells in stock right now. Um, I also think that we have in our other stocking warehouse, probably about a 10 to 15 day lead time up to 300 ton. Um, but certainly we have 50 ton compression cells 100 ton compression cells, 25 ton, 
Um, you can find all of that on our website, straightpoint.com. Look for load safe compression. You can find the capacities there. Aaron, how much training is involved to get someone up and running with the Insight system? That's a great question. So in the Insight software, we have a manual, we have a user's guide. Um, I provide online training. I used to provide in-person training. Of course, the world's kind of gone to virtual meetings now, right? So I, I've been doing that, but um, we have customers who have had about an hour, two hour trainings on the Insight software. We make them comfortable with using it themselves. We do some mock setups with them and then they're off and running. And the great thing about the Insight software is once you know where the buttons are and the, the pattern is the same throughout. So if, whether they have six points to weigh or they have 30 points to weigh, it's the same. They just got to plug in the information for all of them. Great. Typical questions we get do we have to buy Crosby batteries? No, you can buy standard industrial strength batteries that will give you the 1200 hours battery life that you're looking for. Uh, the Insight software, many questions about that we get is, is it a license fee? Do I have to pay you annually for it? Uh, the answer is no. The Insight software is a per download purchase. So it can be done. Uh, they can purchase it, they can have it on their computer, and once they have it downloaded on their computer, it is theirs forever. They do not have to pay us annually. Looks like another question came through on the chat. Can Crosby personnel assist in the field? Um, we will not do the center of gravity wings for them. We will not assist putting the load cells out, but we will assist them in the setup, in their initial setups to make sure that the customer understands um, that they're connecting to the software correctly, all the information is in the software correctly, stuff like that. So we're happy to assist in the knowledge part of it, um, but, but no, we will not go out and physically set up the center of gravity wings for them. Aaron, there's a question in the chat box um, asking if calibration is only through Crosby straight point only or from others. That's a great question. So Crosby straight point has a a global network of authorized calibration centers that we direct customers to, to get them done. Um, and certainly if you are not calibrating compression cells or load cells yourself, you can tell your customer, you can bring them in and you can third party to them, offer that service to them so that you retain that business from your customer. Does load flexibility and or rigidity affect accuracy? That's a very good question. Uh, certainly the flexibility of an item, you wanna be placing that compression cell underneath uh, a, a spot that is designed to hold the weight of whatever it is you're weighing. If you have a product that is flexing, that is, that is giving way in the middle, uh, you'll want to add a compression cell in an approved spot in between those areas so that you can capture or prevent the, the drooping or the, the lag in those items uh, so that you can capture all of the weight correctly. So yes, it's going to make a difference whether it's flexed or rigid. If it's really rigid, that's really not gonna make a difference in the accuracy of the compression cells, which is plus or minus 0.1% of capacity. So they're very accurate through the range. That's a good question. And I think we're at our 20 minutes. We are. And I'd like to thank Aaron for opening our virtual trade show with a great presentation.